Today, I'm gonna to share with you how to set up the Streamlabs plugin on your Loop Deck. It's gonna make your streams more smoother, more engaging, and give it that touch of professionalism. Here we go. What is up all you awesome streamers? Wild here helping you become bigger and better with all the tools that make Streamlabs better. Now, if you're unfamiliar with the Loop Deck, the Loop Deck is a custom built editing console designed to improve the experiences of major software programs across photo, video, audio editing, design, and live streaming. And with this new plugin, you can control Streamlabs desktop with this console. So allow me to show you everything you need to know. Before getting started with the Streamlabs plugin with Loop Deck, you need to make sure that first you have Streamlabs desktop installed on your computer and that you're logged into your streaming platform of choice. From here, you need to make sure you have all your scenes, alert, and everything else set up and ready for streaming. If you need any help with this particular step right here, don't worry, as always, I got you covered. Put a link down in the video description that takes you through the walkthrough guide of all this. Once you're stream ready, it's time to install the Loop Deck software on your device. Be sure to download the correct version for your operating system. Again, I'm gonna make this easy for you and just put a link down below so that way you can download the correct one you need for your device. Once you've installed the Loop Deck onto your device, it's time to set it up. Double click the download file, review and agree to the terms and conditions, then click install. Now that everything's set up, we can start creating shortcuts for the Loop Deck and Streamlabs. One of the first things we recommend you set up is a simple touch action that opens the Loop Deck and Streamlabs. Find exactly where on your workspace you wanna add the action to open up the application. Navigate to the custom tab, then select open application. Alternatively, you can hover over the touch button in the loop deck, select the three dots, create custom action, open application. Towards the bottom right of your screen, you should see a field select application. Scroll through this list to find the application you would like to add, i.e. Streamlabs loop deck, or type out the name of the application and select it. Click save to apply the changes on your loop deck device. If editing from the custom tab, drag and drop the action onto the vacant button. Repeat these steps for any additional applications. All created custom actions are saved in the action tab, so you don't have to make a new one each time. And just a really quick pro tip, you can also create multiple action buttons to launch more than one action at a time. For example, streaming and recording simultaneously using Streamlabs desktop. To do this, select the multi-action from the custom action tab, then drag and drop each action onto the new multi-action. The great thing about using stream overlays to customize your live stream is that it's a way to engage your audience visually. However, switching between scenes can be a little cumbersome at times. Here's one of the best ways you can use the Loop Deck to organize them. First, let's start by creating a Loop Deck workspace just for Streamlabs. You can do this by selecting Workspace in the Loop Deck, then Create New. Name your workspace Streamlabs. Let's start by adding a scene to the page. Do this by simply dragging and dropping the actions on the right to the workspace on the left until you've added all the scenes you wish to control via your Loop Deck. Say you have additional scenes from another overlay that you wish to add. A good way to organize those is to add a touch page to the workspace for that specific overlay. You can do this by clicking on the plus sign next to the small one above the workspace buttons in the Loop Deck software. On this new touch page, you can add new scenes from any additional overlay the same way we did before. To switch between touch pages on your Loop Deck device, remember just to use your finger to swipe across the touch sensitive portion of the device. In the audio actions folder, you can find actions to control things such as microphone audio or even sounds on specific scenes. Where it makes sense, add audio controls to dial and touch buttons to customize your audio control throughout your live stream. Just a really quick note, just like touch pages, you can add additional dial pages to your dials can be assigned multiple actions. To do this, select the plus size next to the one to the right of the digital loop deck interface. Another touch page that we recommend adding is a streaming slash recording page to help you go live and record your content literally at the click of a button. This is easy to set up. Start by adding another touch page as we did previously. Now drag and drop actions such as the streaming toggle and recording toggle so you can go live and record by simply touching the touch buttons. The Loop Deck is a fun and powerful tool for any content creator and live streamer out there. 
It comes in two different versions to fulfill your needs for what you're doing with your content. If you wanna learn more about them, I'm gonna do you a favor and I'll put links down below so that way you can pick which one's gonna work best for you. And if you need any more help on anything with the Loop Deck or Streamlabs, that's where I come in to help you out. I'm gonna do you a favor and toss a couple of videos here up on screen. It's gonna make you bigger and better with everything Streamlabs. Wild wishing you the best of luck with your new Loop Deck and I'll see you all later. Take care and of course, peace.